Hello and welcome to the Rise and the Cop YouTube channel. As ever, I am your disappointed host, Brendan Hodrian, and I'm joined by Anfield icon, Emil Heskey. How are we, mate? Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, not too bad. Yourself? No. <laughs> Fair <laughs> lot. It's just yeah. a grand old day, isn't it? Like, I, I was watching this game and I tweeted, um, I think 20 minutes into the game, I tweeted saying this 85th minute Newcastle equaliser is going to be hilarious. And oh, you did that. Yeah, sure. Oh, I tweeted that like about 20 minutes into the game, tweeted like this 85th minute equaliser is going to be hilarious. Yeah. And I was out by what six minutes, yeah. seven minutes. Yeah. 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 Um, what went wrong? I think you know when you get when you create that many chances um, and not really playing too well, but you still create a lot of chances. You can and I think that's probably what you're alluding to there. If you don't take them chances, you know you're banging trouble. <laughs> And that was that, and that was it. And they were they were half chance because even when you look at the goal, that wasn't really a that was a half chance. It it was it was Mo Salah's excellence, is Mo Salah's brilliance because bringing that down the way that he did that swivel and score, fab, fabulous. Then there was another chance after another chance uh, after another chance. You're like, oh, now now we're in trouble if you're not taking these. We, we they're, they're going to actually get a chance, and we were lucky with the one that that they they that got disallowed. <laughs> yeah, because I, I honestly I can understand if he's lifted his arm up here, his his arms next to his body, and it's hit him and then gone in that way. And, and so, yes, yes, we technically it's it's handball, but that should have been that should have been a goal, and that should have been a massive massive warning as well. We didn't heed that. It, it was it, it, like as a football fan, I was just gutted for Newcastle when that got this loud. I was yeah. like, "That's what's he meant to do, mate?" It's, it's, it's rebounded up against him. His arms, as you say, he's got his arms tucked away. It's just letter of the law if it touches your arm in any way. I think that I'm pretty sure didn't that law come in into effect after Fernando Llorente? I think it was his goal mm. against City. Was it Llorente? Um, every now and then, I have a little a, a blank. He did play for Spurs, then he uh, against mm. City in the Champions League. Um, with yet another late equaliser, twice in a week, twice in a week we've conceded a late equaliser. It is it, just a mentality issue. I think I think it is a mentality thing as well. You know, you know, there comes a time where um, you start to overthink things. Oh no, here we go. We're, we've got the last five minutes. Let's 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 stay let's stay solid. Let's and you you forget what you've done for the last eighty five minutes controlling the game, and then you start p playing it long and you start thinking uh, uh, overthinking things. And it's a it's hundred percent a mentality thing. Um, but you just don't expect it. You expect it with the lower lower teams because generally they they're not going to be up uh, ahead of teams regularly. But to then see Liverpool doing it, the top teams that that really they they understand that they have to see out games. And and how do you see out games? Keep the ball, keep the ball moving, keep passing the ball. They can't they can't score when you've got it. Um, yeah. And it was just yeah, I don't know. I mean, a question that I really did not think I'd be asking this season. Um, do you think we missed Nat Phillips? Someone who can, someone who's going to actually go and attack balls and and, and defend uh, and do what it says on the tin. Um, and that's what we've that's what we've enjoyed watching with Nat Phillips. We, you know, he's, he's, he gets his head on the ball. He he wants to defend. Yes, mo mobility is probably his, his his biggest weakness. But when you're talking about defending, he does it well. So yeah, you could probably say that we have. Yeah, I think the I think another thing that he brings to the table as well is that like he's grown more as a communicator in the past yeah. um few weeks and Fabinho isn't there to marshal a defense. Like he he's a, he's a, an excellent one-on-one -on -one defender, but like if we're talking last 5 minutes defending a lead and organizing the box I'd want Nat Phillips there, yeah, yeah. you know, because Oz and Kabak, like, I, like I think he was incredibly impressive again. But um, he's a twenty-one-year-old lad who's just moved to the country. I, I have no idea what his English is like at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, he could be fluent, I don't know. But like, it would take a lot to have the confidence to come into this new country, this huge team, and then all of a sudden start barking orders at the you know champions of England to get into position. No, you've got to um, you've got to be a certain character to be doing that, especially at 21 to be coming into the, one of the biggest teams in the world uh, as a 21 year old and start barking uh, instructions at everyone. That's the thing as well. Nothing helps. He's been around and he's he's grown in confidence. And 
I, I really just did not think that at this season I'd be saying we missed Nat Phillips this weekend. Mm. Um, but who impressed you for Liverpool, if anyone? Thiago was, I think, I think Thiago kept the ball moving. I don't know why they brought him off, to be honest with you. But again, um, with with so many games and the, the injuries that he's had, they might be, they might have been guarding him a little bit. Um, I thought he, I thought he did well. But I just, I just thought everyone. It's a weird one for me because I just think everyone's happy, ready to finish the season. It looks like. For me, yeah, everyone's just ready for the season to finish, and um, they've, it's like, and it's not just Liverpool. I think, I think, I see it with a lot of teams. They've had enough, <laughs> and they just want the season to finish. Um, it's a weird one because uh, <clears throat> when you've got so much to play for as well, you don't expect that. Um, yeah, but it looks like that for me. Yeah, I think as well, like this season would have been like somewhat traumatic for these players because they've just seen like everything that can go wrong went wrong and like you know we've all been there where something will happen in your life where it's out of your control and all Mm -hmm. of a sudden it feels like the walls are closing and that's that's what's happened to these lads all season is that they've seen everyone around them dropping like flies and all of a sudden everything's out of place and you know people are on your back and um but at the same time how can the amount of chances we missed mm-hmm. you can't explain away that with injuries like Sadio yeah. Mane at, at point Sadio Mane was squared the ball and he took a touch and then another touch and then couldn't yeah slot I think it that's, in. Again, that, turn again, that's, that around? It's, again that's confidence because when you when you're thinking about that so a, a, a confident Sadio Mane has hit that first time um a confident man if if he does take a touch that first touch is perfect for him to take the next touch as a shot not one touch, two touch, and he's fumbling. And the next minute, he's given a, uh, he's, he's he's missed the opportunity to have his shot. And again, it's it's just totally down to confidence. Um, you know, with the chances that that Liverpool create, they should be in. They really should be in, in, in second in the league. With the chances that they create in the in 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 the games that they play, in, with the chances that they create and miss, and not on the opportunity they don't take. They take the hardest ones <laughs> because that wasn't really a chance for me. Um, because again, ball coming over yeah. the touch that you take, the touch that you take over your head to bring it back and have the shot. That's not really a chance. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> really, like, I really that's don't not really think a chance. I could... But then you get the, the opportunity, the real good opportunity, and you squander them. When you when you look back, and if if if, if there was any stats or. Um, any algorithms that they could put in to 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 look at where the t- league tables were, uh, uh, if they had taken them chances, I, I believe they'd be t- um, in second. Yeah, I, th- I think there must be somewhere like the XG league table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, we started with four forwards. What, what, what did you make of the attacking lineup? Again, they create chances. I don't think they're as aff- as fluent as as um, they have been. Um, confidence, confidence is huge for uh, forward players. Um, I think it's for every player, but forward players because they're the ones who got to get you the goals. Mo Salah, for some reason, his confidence never gets knocked. It, uh, he, it's like he doesn't care what anyone says or doesn't care whether he's missed a couple of chances. He'll still get in them opportunities. He'll still get in the get in the box and get his shot off. Whereas the others, I think it plays on them a little bit more. We see we see with Mane. Um, we're getting more out of him going the other way than we actually are getting them going forward. To be honest with you, one testament to him that he actually is probably not having the best of best of seasons, but he'll still go and have a go going the other way, um, which is what you want. But 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 we need him going forward as well. Jota is Jota. Um, I think Firmino uh, he's having a tough time at this moment in time, and uh, I'll be surprised if they don't bring in someone to to either rival him or take his place. Well, that, that that brings me on to my next question: Is that um, various reports saying that Liverpool are going to sign a striker over the summer? Um, Sam Hughes, the Athletic, said that his sources say that um, that is the focus. Duncan Castles um, has said that they want a wide forward similar to Mo Salah. Given that a forward's expected to come in, who drops out or is sold? Do you reckon? I think I think Firmino will will drop out. Um, whether he'll be sold again, he's coming into what he's twenty nine now, so. Um, if you can, if you can find someone who's in in their mid twenties or early twenties who can actually give you what Firmino gives and more, 
I don't see. I think. I think that he will be the one to drop out. Maybe someone early twenties, yeah. French. Um, <laughs> someone like so, so you know, anyone who fits that sort of bill. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think like for me is that the thing is that sure, I'd I'd probably drop out for me you now at, at, at this point. But if we've got to sell someone to make room or to you know cash in. I think he's the one that we get the least money for. Yeah, he would be. So I reckon it'd be Sadio Mane himself. <clears throat> Again, I think he's probably got a little bit more to give than than, than Bobby, but are, the, are, are you saying that we, we we need to sell to create money to go and buy? I think, pro- I think that, that, that it may the, well that be the case. Yeah. Well, Mane would be the one that wouldn't. It'd be such a shame because it's you like... You wouldn't get much for uh, Bobby right now. Yeah, it's it's such a dramatical, uh, dramatically poor season he's had in comparison mm-hmm. to his other ones. That it's just mm-hmm. all it takes is one poor season. I mean, hope, hopefully this time next week we're talking about him scoring a hat trick against Man United. So, all right, we're, we're going to be talking Man United on a different day. So, um, cheers for your expert insight as ever. We hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you all next time.